form change. Okay, we're going to take a look at form change. And form change is so important it's because, you know, the, the concept of it is going from organic to non-organic, organic to non-organic. Uh, how does topology function in this world? Uh, how, what can we do to kind of manipulate edges so they flow differently across meshes? Okay, what I want to do is make a plane, go to edit mode, hit shift D, and shift D will make it so I can duplicate these, and then I'm going to subdivide both of them. So, in edit mode, these are part of the same group, so I can hit A, subdivide them up. And we're just going to look at a very basic example in this this video, and then we're going to look at a more you know how do we use it in practical application type of deal. But all these are going to be studies, okay? So studies basically mean uh, to look at something at a smaller concept uh, instead of real world practical application, such as uh, you might want to draw an arm, okay? But you wouldn't want to draw the whole body if you're doing an arm study. So we're, we're studying here the flow of polygons. They, they might not add up to, you know, a dagger or a shield or anything like that. It's just to show you how to divert flow. Okay, so kind of boring at first until, you know, we figure out a way to use the power. And trust me, you'll use it all the time, especially when you're, you're dealing with organic versus non-organic. All right. First, basic 101 of stuff. Um, let's go to faces. And what I'm going to do, well, first, control R. This is an edge flow. Right now, it goes across the actual mesh. And if I wanted to add a different kind of shape off of this shape, it would be kind of tough. So let's look at this, this whole changing shape concept. If I took these faces right here, and went to control E. Okay. Oops. And then R to scooch them in. So now what I've done is diverted the edge. Okay. Of course, if you hit control R now, it will go like this instead of like this. And if I took these faces right here and deleted them and then move this whole concept down, you can now see if I hit control R, it would go around this area and then back. Okay, diverting the edge. Okay, what if I wanted to divert the edge on the interior of this form? Well, I could. Uh, let's say I look at something like this. E, R. Okay, again, something very basic. This time, I'll take it to a different level. I'll Take these vertices and scoot them in. All right, well, let's add some edges here. Now, you can see it's diverted the edge, so I can have now a circle in the center of this new form. Again, think outside the box here for a little bit before you know you get like, what point is he trying to make? Okay, let's take this object and subdivide it up a little bit. So I'm going to add a multi-res to it. And then I'm going to show topology on wireframe. And you can see, wow, the beauty of this, really. So it's going around, then all this concentration, these hotter spots right here, are more resolution in that area. Well, 
that's important because if I start doing concepts like taking this, let's take the whole form first. So for right here to here, we're going to extrude that off. Okay. Again, if I want to see the higher resolution, I could just hit tab and all of a sudden, hey, that looks pretty nice. It's got a nice flow around the outside edge. Go back to this tool real quick. All right, if I wanted to take this form and extrude that, I'll extrude it down. Hit tab. Now this wireframe is getting in my way now, but if you could see how smooth that form really is, maybe now it's starting to get a little bit impressive. Okay. Sure, I need a few polygons in order to pull off the smooth, but not nearly enough if I didn't know topology. Okay, so let me let me show you the what would happen if you didn't know topology. And let's go in here and take these, extrude them up, and let's put extrude going down. Okay. So this one has a much tighter area going around it. You can see that. If we look at the wireframe on this, we can start seeing things like this. Okay, those pinched off polygons. These are called extraordinary vertices, by the way. When a, a vertice pulls at so many different directions that it doesn't know what it's doing. So you're going to get these pinch spots every once in a while in the mesh. See like that pinch spot right there. This is caused from poor topology. Let's look if there's anything over here like that. Okay. No, not where I need it to be. So over here I'm starting to get a pinch spot, but look at it's off to the area where I'm not having the form change. Same with right here. There's a pinch spot, but it's happening at a level at which if I uncheck this wireframe, I can't detect those pinch spots anywhere. Over here, I can see those right off the bat. So this is caused by poor topology. All right, now that we can kind of see what topology does for us at higher levels, let's look at um, changing the form dramatically and see what happens in the next video.